Hi, I'm Brent with Gates Product Application Engineering. I'm here today at our Customer Solutions Center to discuss the Gates Mobile Crimp 420 with Mike. Come along with me back to the lab and let's have a look. Hey Brent, here you want to learn about the Mobile Crimp 420. What can I tell you about it? Well, today I'd like to learn about uh, how to use it, uh, basic maintenance tips, and also how to make a hose assembly. Great, let's get started. The Mobile Crimp 420 is capable of crimping hose assemblies from quarter inch ID up through inch and a quarter. Each hose and coupling combination has a different die set that goes in the machine as well as a different setting for that coupling combination. You can get this information by going to our crimp data manual, opening it up, finding the correct machine, the hose, and your setting, and dial it in. You can also get this information off of gates.com through the eCrimp application, or you can download eCrimp to your smartphone, and you're ready to go. As far as maintenance concerned, the machine comes with grease. You take this grease, you put a little glaze around your die fingers and inside your die cone, and you're ready to go for another 500 crimps. So we're ready to crimp an assembly on the MC420. We've got a Gates 8M3K hose and a Mega Crimp coupling. I've gone to the manual and I've pulled up the correct setting. It's telling me to use the setting of 245, so we'll dial that in now. And it's telling me to use the MC33 die set. So currently in the machine is the MC32, so I'm gonna walk you through how to change out the die set. In order to do this, you have to pull the pin, move the ram out of the way, grab the magnet that's supplied with the machine, place it on top of your die set, and remove the incorrect die set. Grab the correct die set, place it back in your die cone, and we're ready to start our assembly. So you take your hose and coupling, you fully insert the hose into the coupling, then you come in through the bottom of the machine. We want our coupling to be between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch below the surface of the die set. We're gonna replace our pressure plate, push the machine down, close the ram, replace the pin, and at this point we're ready to crimp. Okay, so we're ready to crimp. A Couple things to keep in mind. Safety glasses in place, and make sure that your hands are completely free of all moving parts on the machine. We're gonna start by depressing the crimp button on the machine. You'll know that you have a complete crimp when the red light comes on and you hear the audio sound telling you that you've hit your crimp OD. And your crimp's complete. Great, thanks for those instructions, Mike. If people have more questions, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? Well, they can send us an email to PA0000 at gates.com or call us at 303-744-5070. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out all of our other videos as well.